xdocs can deliver a dynamically generated set of content that can be personalized by client product type audience and more on the fly it can be configured to suit your business model either by your developers or by bluestream it has a simple flexible licensing structure which makes the adoption of a cms practical for just about any size of organization by far the most affordable option on the market it's got a few simple and core pricing models flat rates for multiple users and an entry point that really can't be touched I mentioned that you can get everything for under twenty five thousand dollars under fifty thousand dollars depending on the size of your organization your biggest costs believe it or not are not likely to end up being the CMS software but instead the costs of having your staff trained of having your legacy files converted of changing around your workflow potentially of any of the internal training that you need to do in order to make sure your IT department can work with things the software is an incredibly reasonable price point you also get a bundled did editor which is the XML mind and there's a bunch of other things that you'll see that are no extra cost it's really a true data solution and it follows the standards and provides a lot of additional functionality it's pretty simple to install and use on my laptop the one that you're going to see demonstrating we had it up and running in under days not weeks not months and that included some configuration troubleshooting and more and I can be pretty demanding with some of the stuff that I want it to do finally every single time that I call them up I get a real person on the line there's no phone brush offs there's no ticketing queues that I have to wait in it's just support I'm going to start off live by importing content into the CMS so the very first thing I'm going to do is launch the software so I'm clicking a shortcut to xdocs and after a moment I'm going to log in I'm also going to walk you through the interface very briefly it's not the Windows folder structure you're going to see but what you're going to see is the server that I'm working on I'm going to have real content and put it in here so I log in and this is the default inside the application you're going to see what looks like a folder structure and inside the folder structure if I drill down I have a fictional home for a product called tech writer tool right now I don't have any content inside here and this is not the Windows Explorer this is the inside the content management system I've got a set of files that were created earlier and they're all data compliant they're very very basic simple files a few topics and some maps the maps are linked to the topics so let me start off by loading some files into the content management system And here's what I have to do I right mouse click and I import to folder I'm going to be prompted for a location and I'm going to go to my uh, secondary drive here into my tech writer tools and into a set of files and you can see that I've got a collection of XML files so I press control A to select all of them then I just choose add so all of the files are now being loaded the system is going to examine all of the links and you can see at the bottom it's updating everything between the maps and the topics basically making sure I don't have any invalid content or that I lose information along the way in some cases this may take quite a while for you because either you have a lot of content or as I mentioned the system is a bit of an underwhelming computer but once it's imported you can see the files and the associated information in a lot of cases it might be easier to see the map to understand the individual file and the structure and inside here I have a maps tab that I can switch to and the two maps that I have are displayed I'm just going to expand those out in order to show you a little more information the second map has additional nested content and again I can expand it and see the hierarchy and the relationship between the different topics that are here it's a lot of complexity that's being represented in a really simple way And by the way you'll see the icons they change as I work right now these icons that you see are representing files that have just been loaded onto the server and these will change as we work with things inside the CMS I have a few quick things that I can do to get a bit more insight on a topic for example I can right mouse click on any of these when I right click I have a bunch of options and many of these are also available in the menus and the toolbars it's just I like to work with right mouse click because it's easily and, uh, quickly available to me inside here I can right click and I can view the version history see what links point to the topic preview the content work with different editors and by the way I have a lot of editors that are set up here and I can modify different settings but one of the really great things about the CMS is the ability to check content in and out and work with the software tools we finished dealing with importing content you saw it. that's relatively simple if the content is valid and it's good data now I'm going to move on to check in and to check out files working with files and with different software tools so 
So for starters, let me find out what I've got inside this file by using the preview. I right mouse click and I choose the preview button. There's minimum custom work done at this point. The preview that you're going to see is the default that the system comes with. It's going to build a web page and this is done internal to the CMS. But there's my content. In the preview I can see the title, I can see the short description. This is what I've created to the point where I've imported. Now I'm going to take this file and I'm going to check out the document. I right mouse click, I check out. This means that the file is now locked by the administrator and it prevents other people from working with it, messing up content, while I'm busy working with it and messing up content. So even though I want to show you FrameMaker, I also want to point out that you don't need to work with Frame for this. I've got the file and I can open it up with another editor, for example Oxygen. So I'm going to go in and just open it up with Oxygen Author. Inside Oxygen I've got several different views. So here's the text only view. I'm just going to close it off and I'm going to make a minor change here. It says launch the software and in a text editor type of an environment I'm going to change this to launch tech writer tools. So I'm making some text edits to the content and when I'm done I'm going to take this information and pull it back into the CMS which means that I've now done some version changes and if I ever need to justify what the changes are and so on I want the ability to roll back my file. Now when I close it and I save it and I check this back in you're going to see that the icon takes on a couple different appearances. So there's the text edit that I've done. I've got a little green box telling me that this is now valid. No problems are found in the file. I'm going to shut down Oxygen just to clean up resources here. And yes, I saved the change. Notice the red icon. So I come along, I take the file, and I check it in. The icon changes. Remember the default icons are here because these were new to the system. This one here is now changed because it's been downloaded into the system or worked with. If I go in and I do my preview on it, you'll see that inside the preview when it builds, it's changed the content to reflect the update. And So now the title reads Launch Tech Writer Tools. It doesn't read Launch the Software anymore. So I'm going to go in and take the file, and this time instead of using an editor that is uh, external, I'm going to use XML Mine, which is included when you get XDocs totally different type of an interface because again each of the tools has different interface different types of options and you can decide what it is that works best for you so here's XML mind and it says hey log in who are you so I'm the administrator because it's connected into the database and the content management system is managing the relationship between the file and the XML mind side of things here I'm just going to update the uh, short description by doing something that probably shouldn't be done. I'm just going to take Tech Writer Tools and make it bold. So I'm applying a style to it, but it's technically changing the structure. It looks like it's a minor change, but it's really far more than that. Um, I'm just going to quit this application as well. By the way, I haven't saved the file yet, but I'm going to quit. And it says, hey, documents have been modified. Do you want to save the changes? Yeah, why not? And I'm not saving this to the hard drive. I'm not saving it onto the desktop or, or over onto my network drive. This has been checked back into the CMS, and we know because I can come in and I can preview. Remember I made it bold. So now inside the preview, we're going to see that bold has been applied inside that short description. So I've taken the files, I've worked with it in two different tools, I've checked in and checked out the files, I've made some changes. And if I want to, I can come in here and I can manage my versions. And again, this is all straight internal default content management system functionality. I can go in and I can see the changes that I made in Oxygen, or the changes that I made in XML Mind, or the original starting file. Here's the default file, launch the software, and then a little while later I made some changes to it. And inside here, the change that I made was launch Tech Writer Tools. I'm not a fan of adding the word Tech Writer Tools in bold, so I'm going to take this previous one and promote it, so that the unbold version becomes the new primary. So this is a great way to deal with file recovery. If you're in a situation where you're concerned that files will be lost or that you do version control and that you're going to lose your information, all I have to do is update it. And now if I go in and preview the bold on the word tech writer tools inside the short description should be gone. I can check files in, check files out, preview them, use version control, promote the older files, and I haven't even touched FrameMaker yet.